How you doing out there? Well, I hope. This is John Wayne McCure, the Sonneteer from beautiful Chandler, Arizona. I'm a retired high school principal, guidance counselor, world history teacher, American history teacher, civics teacher, American government teacher. It was wonderful. I really like teaching. It's, it's good. Why? You're just talking about people. And it's wonderful just talking about people. And world history is so interesting. And we got a lot of problems in the world today. And you know, the answers to complex problems are E equal MC square. It looks simple, but the answer, it's simple, yeah. And this is simple, all right? This is sonnet number 1,304. In his call, here's the answer. Righteous men, righteous women. And everybody knows what that is. Everybody knows what righteousness is. What a beautiful word. We know in our hearts what is righteous and what is wicked. We know righteous men and righteous women, they're everywhere. They're valiant survivors. They've been through it. But they're righteous. Harsh trials and tribulations. Yet American citizens, hey, they fight on no matter what. Wise citizens around the world working hard polishing their skills and their talents. Their wisdom surprises everybody in their talents. They're blossoming immense potentials. The very beauty, the idea of America, the grandeur of America's mountains, her beautiful forests, the majesty of our land of liberty, free choice for the righteous. It's great. America and everybody is part of the great human heart, our eternal soul. Heavenly energy flows through our consciousness's inner spirit. All of us human beings are part of one universal human consciousness. We know in our hearts what is righteousness. We call it justice, equity. Gentlemen, I love that word. What's a gentleman? He's a righteous man. No matter what challenges may come, he can do it. He can do it. He's righteous, a gentleman. A lady is righteous no matter what. She's a lady Amazon. She's a proud warrior fighting for her family, working to pay the bills, to not run out on adult responsibilities, to do your duty, to do your job, knowing that honor is not just a word. Nobility, said the poet Jovenal, said nobility, it's really the only virtue. And I thought, you know, there's like 50 words that go with this. But here's nobility, okay? It's to be honest, to be righteous, to be upright, to be true, to be loyal, to be faithful, to be trustworthy, to be moral, to be good, self-sacrificing, to be generous, to be honored, to be esteemed, to be respected, to be a lord, to be a lady. That's fabulous. That's only half of it. I don't think that's even half of it. That's a great word. Anyway, nobility is the only virtue. To be righteous. And we see those people every day. Heroes are all around us. They're bravely putting their best face forward in their jobs. And where go the hours slipping away so swiftly? They're just gone. The hours are just gone. The days are just gone so quickly. Each day, each morning, is a new day, a new life from dawn until beautiful ebony midnight, teaching us along the way each day important lessons. Some of those lessons are very difficult to accept. They're hard lessons to learn. But righteous men, Amazon women, they're proud of earning an honest living, glorious freedom. Their aptitude is polished into valuable perfection. They're trying to be perfect in themselves. Righteous women, righteous men, always striving to be better, to be able to look into a mirror without shame, without guilt, without hideously grim despair. To be the father your son thinks you are. Not ashamed because you abandoned your son, you abandoned your daughter, you didn't stand up to the plate, and you abandoned your own flesh and blood? What? 
Your soul is condemned for that. You can't do that. You can't be ashamed because you did that. You've got to be a proud father. You've got to be a proud father. And ladies, you've got to be the angel mother. Your child knows you are deep inside. They got to know it. The pride, the pride of just stepping up to the plate as a parent, as a mother, as a father, stepping up to that plate, no matter what the cost. You're there as a father. You're there as a mother. It's a sacred duty. And it's the thrill of just being an American. And our republic's so dear. Our republic, Ben Franklin, he said, hey, it's a republic. If we can keep it, let's keep it. Getting paid for our talents. Hard work, intense study, mastering personal artistry unique. You're mastering your own artistry, your own talents. Isn't that a beautiful thing? You get a chance to do it in America? And the time you have left over, when you have time left over, you can bask in the beautiful surroundings of your life. Perfect bliss, perfect bliss all around you. Sir Stanley Kunitz and Eugene O'Neill, they said this. I love it. Life is a solitary cell. It's, it's like you're in a prison cell. That's a solitary cell. That's your life. Whose walls are mirrors. And I think about that. What? Life is a solitary cell whose walls are mirror, mirrors. And my mirrors are wonderful. It's, God has been so good to me. Thank you, God. I hope your mirrors are good. I hope your mirrors are happy and bright. Hey, righteous men, righteous women. That's what I'm talking to you out there. I'm proud of you. Americans, we've always been cowboys. Now we're cowboys with our minds, our minds. And I'm telling you, it's working because we got to get education back. I mean, America was number one and now we're number 24. We're the righteous men, righteous women. Thanks for listening. God bless us, everyone. Au revoir, mes amis.